Empanadas filled with spicy ground beef, that's a delicious savory pastry. But when you fill it with diced steak, that's pure empanada perfection. Okay, let's make hearty, spicy beef empanadas easy. With the right combination of great steak, chilies, and spices, you can make empanadas your family will love. And we'll show you a few shortcuts along the way. Let's get it started. A few fresh ingredients and some pantry spices together with some high quality sirloin steaks. Let's make this easy. We'll start with some diced onion. Cut a yellow onion in half, keeping the root intact, and peel off the outer skin layers. Make a horizontal cut, still keeping the root end intact, and then cut lengthwise before we turn the other direction to get a fine dice. Into a bowl, and we'll keep building our spice concoction. Smash a few cloves of garlic with the side of your knife, peel the outer skin, and chop things up pretty fine. You might find a little green sprout coming through the clove, You'll find these on fresh garlic you've had sitting around maybe a little too long. Just pull those out while you get rid of any firm bits on that root end. Okay, with our cloves ready, we'll chop things up pretty fine. Set that aside and we'll chop up some fresh cilantro. If you're not a fan of cilantro, and I get it, it's not for everyone, grab some fresh parsley. Set the chopped herb in a separate bowl and we'll put that aside. With our fresh herbs chopped, we're finished with our knife work so we can move on to our beef. Check out the marbling in these sirloin steaks. I grabbed some certified Angus beef brand prime sirloin steaks. You could use tri-tip or even sirloin cap. They're just perfect for this recipe. Generous marbling means big flavor. Just make sure it's certified Angus beef because if it's not certified, it's not the best. These steaks are cut pretty thin and that's good because we want to dice this up pretty fine, about a quarter inch cubes. So cut in ribbons. With thicker steaks, you may have to cut those ribbons in half again lengthwise. Then we turn the pieces and cut into tiny cubes. With all our beef all diced up, let's put a stainless steel frying pan over medium high heat. You can use a cast iron here too, it works great for this. Point is we need high heat. We'll add a little light olive oil to the pan and we'll sear this diced beef. Notice I only put about half the beef in and I'll sear in two batches. You want to brown as much as you can, so spread things about quickly and let it sear to develop some browning before moving things around to brown a little more. We're in and out pretty quickly here. This will actually become fully cooked when we bake our empanadas in a few minutes, but for now, build flavor by browning your beef nicely. In the pan with a little more oil and the rest of the diced sirloin. Again, do this quickly and we'll move on to building more flavor. Into the pan with a pat of butter to welcome our onions to the fiesta. We're gonna take advantage of all this flavor that we had from that beef that was searing. While these simmer for a few minutes, you'll see them release water and start to clean all the wonderful beefy bits from our sirloin searing. Add a little salt and keep stirring. Before the onions are done, we're gonna add fresh garlic and our spices. So our ground cumin, cumin seeds, a little red pepper flakes, and some black pepper. It smells incredible. Keep things stirring around to get some heat on the spices before heading in with the canned green chilies. Stir things around, and then we'll kill the heat and go back in with the beef. Off the heat, you can then add in that fresh cilantro. And that is our filling. Stir it up and transfer our fragrant filling to a bowl to chill. I'll even spread it out so it chills a little faster. And then go into the fridge to cool your tasty filling. Now for our dough wrappers. I found I really like using Pillsbury's pizza dough for easy empanadas. My kids and I love the flavor and just how easy it is to work with. Here's how we use it. Unroll the sheet of pizza dough onto the cutting board and have a little flour on hand to keep things from sticking. The point is you wanna sprinkle it on both sides lightly but evenly. Then roll the dough into a large rectangle. I'll roll from the center to the outsides to get nice even thickness. Using a circle cutter, I'll cut four inch discs. You should get eight circles out of each pizza dough, so 16 empanadas. Making empanadas is a great way to get your family involved in cooking. We like to sit around and fill the disc together and work on our technique while we catch up on whatever is important to the kids at the time. My mom used to do this with pie dough. We can just put it on a sheet tray in that oven that's warming up, sprinkle some sugar and cinnamon on it. The kids just love that when we do that. Before we get to filling these pastries, make sure you subscribe. So to build an empanada, let's put it down and roll it out a little further. They tend to shrink after they've been rolled the first time. Take a disc in your hand and spoon some of that chilled filling into the center. I like a good amount here. About a third cup works for this recipe. But you still need to be able to close them. 
A little water on the edge helps seal them as you pinch and help fold over in triangles. The result is kind of a roll rope effect. Keep on filling and sealing. Practice and you'll become a pro in no time. You know, mess ups are just as delicious, by the way. With our empanadas on a sheet tray lined with parchment, we can head into the oven for about 25 minutes. The smell is incredible. When they're cool enough to handle, put them on a large platter and enjoy. You know, we like ours with a cool dipping sauce that has a lot of sour cream and fresh herbs. Some of us add a couple drops of hot sauce in the center or even some queso. However you like it, you'll love breaking one of these presents open and enjoying what you've made. These are gonna go fast. Your family's gonna love them. See you next time in the test kitchen.